Hi Stampers! Welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today's cards that I have for you I made with the new To The Moon stamp set. It is in the current annual catalog. And as you can see I have four cards and these cards are what I call a front flap card or a front flap panel card because they have this panel that is actually a flap. And then the card opens up and there's your sentiment for the inside. And here's the portrait version. Always reach for the stars. And I haven't put anything inside of this because I thought always reach for the stars. That would be um, maybe for a graduation or for someone who's um, about to start a new job, those kind of things. So I thought I would wait and see um, who I might send this to before I put something on the inside. And here's another one of enjoy the new phase of your life. And of course inside, like on the um, one here that's Daffodil Delight, I put congratulations because I thought this could be for a graduation, for a retirement, again, for changing jobs, for becoming a new parent. Um, I actually sent a card with a sentiment and uh, image to a friend of mine whose daughter graduated high school and uh, wrote a little note in it for some encouragement because, you know, when your kids graduate high school, uh, life kind of is a little different. So there's that one, and this one is in um, gray granite. And here's one that's in um, misty moonlight. This one was Night of Navy. And this one, as I said, was the Daffodil Delight. This one is misty moonlight. And it has the great moon image from the stamp set. And it's rather large, but it does, um, you can cut it out with one of the um, layering circle dies. So I just sort of put it up in the corner, but what I did for this was I also cut out a circle to put on the back of the moon so there wouldn't be the basic white sticking out. So this is Love You to the Moon and Back. And then inside I put more than stars in the sky and then happy anniversary. So today I thought I would walk you through this front flap card that I made and uh, we'll make one together and we'll do this version. All the measurements for the landscape version and the portrait version will be on my blog and there will be a link to the, my blog the description of this video. So let's get started. Move these out of the way. And I thought we would um, use some petal pink. Not petal pink. It's, um, so I'm sorry, polished pink. I'm still learning the names of the new in colors for this year. And what we're going to need, I need to get my other piece of paper. And like I said, the measurements, they'll be over on my blog, but this piece of for the card base is eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I scored it along the eight and a quarter inch side at two and three quarters. So that makes our card base. And for these cards, I found you really need to use the bone folder and really make sure these edges, or the seams right here, on the folds that you really get it nice and crisp and then this part will be the flap and it is five by two and three quarters and then it's scored it at three quarters this is going to attach the flap to the card and again with that you'll want to make it real crisp of a fold there with your bone folder and then I used some designer series paper. And this is from the 6x6 designer series paper. It's in the annual catalog. And you can get it in all the color families. This one, of course, would be from the 2021 to 2023 in color family. 
But um, here it is in Knight of Navy, which would be in the uh, neutrals family. And you get um, four different designs, you know, two-sided, but there's four designs. There's this nice design, and then on the back of it is this one. And this is the design we'll be using today. There's what's on the other side of it. And like I say, these um, designer series papers, they, you can get them in all the colors, in both in color families and in the other four um, color families. So there's that. And then we need some basic white for our focal panel. This one is cut at four inches by two and a half inches. And then this one is um, five and a quarter by four, and that will go on the inside. So the first thing we need to do is some stamping. And we'll be using um, this image right here, all the phases of the moon. And I'm going to stamp that in some Daffodil Delight. Well, if I can get it open, there we go. Okay, I'm just kind of ink it up. And I'm going to stamp this sort of near the top. I'm going to leave, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, maybe more than a quarter of an inch. And there we go with that. Set that aside. And now we're going to use a blending brush. I love these. They're really nice to add um, just a bit of color. And they do blend really well um, if you want to blend colors. Um, but I, I just really like them. And I use them a lot to do sky because you can go and leave what looks to be clouds. And it. I just like them. So we're going to start... And this, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of misty moonlight. And I'm going to just see, rub off what's on there. There wasn't much. So we'll ink it up. And I'm going to just get the, rub some off so it won't be too dark. And just start and just take a light touch. And I'm going to just go in a circular motion for this. And yes, you can go over the ink, and um, it does really well going over the ink with the um, alcohol markers, too, with the Stampin' Blends. Take this one down. I'm going to kind of leave some white around my moons. And this doesn't take all that long. Um, you can put as much color as you want, or if you prefer less, that you can do that too. And I honestly think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to take this stamp that says, enjoy this new phase of life. And just full strength here, I'm just going to stamp it. go and we'll need this ink pad in a minute for the inside we'll begin assembling the card I'm going to use my stamp and seal oops and remember the flap will go to the um, to the right, that's what we're going to attach to the card, so we'll keep it on that side. Line that up. Now we'll put our designer series paper on the front of our card. Oh, get 
some adhesive. There we go. Oop. And now we'll put this on. We need to put this piece on before we put the inside in. So for it, I'm going to use some Stamp and Seal Plus just to make sure it's held on there real tightly. And I just kind of eyeball it, get it centered, or um, if it's not quite centered, make sure it's a little more towards the top than the bottom. There's that. And then we will use our Stampin' Seal to put on. I was trying to I think I need a new blade on my um, trimmer. that you know on the inside I want to stamp congratulations and I want to be aware of where what is covered up and what isn't so if I stamp congratulations right in that area right in here we should be good of course I have it covered up <laughs> there we go um, there. And there's the card. It was just that easy. So let's bring in those others. Putting the ink away before I uh, have it everywhere. There's the one we just made. And here's the Love You to the Moon and Back. And here's the one like the one we just finished making. And here's the Always Reach for the Stars. And enjoy this new phase of life. And again, that was, these cards were made with the To the Moon stamp set. So once again, on my blog, there will be all the measurements and instructions to make these cards. Thank you again for joining me today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, stamp happy!